What's up everyone, welcome back to my tutorial series on creating a forum with PHP. In the last episode, we made a comments page that was pretty cool. We learned pretty much everything that we had ever applied with HTML, PHP, CSS, not even CSS, MySQL. Um, and, and now I've just deleted absolutely everything, except for our images folder with like one image in there. But yeah, I've just deleted everything because we're starting, we're making the forum in this now. So we're not, we're not doing any of the test stuff, we're not keeping the comments, I'm keeping the database with the users. Uh, I can probably delete the comments one, but I'm just keeping that because we want some test users to play around with, but yeah. So, let's get started creating the login page. So we need to set up our form a few different ways. So we need... We need a footer, a header, a connection, and a register page. So we're going to make four files. The first one's going to be called um, um, header.php. And now this is not the same as a PHP header. This is a file that we're going to have at the top of every website. Um, so that way we can always include it into stuff. So like we can, you know, we can have it head every page on our website. The next one's going to be our footer which is going to become uh, at the end of every page in our website. So, footer.php. Oh, who is that scrub? Let's see here. Got freaking text in my videos, huh? Okay. The next one is going to be called, um, if I just do new file, and I'm going to call this one connection. Yeah, connection.php. Oh, I got to rename that. That's just connection, not connection.php. Oops. Hold on, guys. So, right, right click, rename, dot PHP. PHP, okay. And now we just need one more. Well, actually, we'll create that one in a minute. So, header is going to be where all of our, all of our stuff is stored. Like, it's going to be the nav bar for our page. It's going to have our, you know, header elements and our nav element and all that. Um, so, yeah, footer is going to be the bottom of our page. So it's kind of like uh, if you ever look at the bottom of YouTube.com, if you just exit the video and look at the bottom, that's what that is. Connection is going to just connect us to the database, and that's it. So it's going to be all the previous connections. So yeah, let's get started. So if you just hold shift and push, ex push exclamation point, and then push tab, if you have Emmet installed, you get this. Uh, if you don't, then just type all this HTML like a boring scrub. Uh, and we're just going to put our title. And now inside our body, we don't really need anything. I'm just going to I'm going to move these slash body and slash HTML into our footer because whenever we make our website, this body is going to start on the header and it's going to end at the footer and every website is going to be in between the header and footer. So we're not going to put any HTML except for stuff we want to show up at the very top of the website in the header and nothing except for what we want to show up at the bottom of the website in the footer. Now connection, we're just gonna set that up like we've always done. So dollar sign username. Oh, forgot the PHP. Question, question. PHP. I do that a lot. And then um, yeah. So inside here, dollar sign user. Is this not? In, what's going on with this one? Should be uh, syntax highlighting. Question, question. PHP. Dollar sign username equals. Uh, I just didn't set the syntax, so uh, syntax PHP. Okay, now we can just do um, our PHP is again. Sorry about that. Me just being stupid again. Okay, now we can just say dollar sign username equals um, fox dollar sign password equals SDF dollar sign server equals localhost. And then, oh, last one is db equals forum. There you go. So if you type all that and your database connections match up to what mine do, you will be able to connect. So we just do dollar sign connection equals mysql underscore connect. And inside here, we just want to put our uh, variables. So uh, server. Um, you could just type this all out and like hard coded, hard coded, but I prefer not to do that. Username, password, db. There you go. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. db. There you go. 
And okay, we got the semicolon. Did I type all that right? Let's just make sure server username password server password username and the reason why we check that is because it's much easier to prevent errors than it is to fix them so yeah let's just go ahead and save that and we can close out connection because we won't be using it for a while now uh we won't we'll be using footer for a while either so yeah we'll just save that and now i'm at the top before we do absolutely anything in header we need to include the connection because every time we start up a new web page we're going to be connecting to our databases and um, if we don't have this we won't be able to connect and get any information for our database so yeah so we should run around PHP and then we just want to do um, include um, and in here we just do connection.php I hope I spelled that right yep okay so that is nice and we've just got all that done so we're just gonna save that and close it out. Now we need to make one more new file for this episode and it's just going to be called registration. So new file control s registration.php boom and now inside registration this is going to be our meat and potato -y areas so every actual page that's not just a header or something on the form needs to have included the header and the footer and to do that, you know what we should do? We just do question, question, PHP, and inside here, we just do include header.php. Yep. And now we'll just copy this. So, yeah, we'll just copy it. And we just want to paste it again. And we're just going to change this header to footer. So that way we start with the header and end with the footer on every web page. So now. Inside here is where we can actually start typing our code for our website. So pretty easy setup. So let's just begin. So we don't need to make this, um, we don't need this because we already have it in the header and footer. What we do need though is we need a table. And I just chose to use a table. You could really use whatever you wanted to make this thing, but I'm just making it with a table because I like tables. Um, I like tables, I don't like turtles, so, so yeah. So table, and we just want to do border equals 1px. You could do like 20px and just see what happens for fun. That's always entertaining. And now inside our table, we want two rows. So I'm just going to do the Emmet code to generate two rows. And inside the first row, we want two table headers, th times two. Boom. Nope. Uh-oh. I'm starting to delete my actual code. th times two tab. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yep. Okay, th, come on, there we go. Uh, stupid in it, emit interferes with emit. And now inside here we want um, register, and inside here we want login. There you go. And now inside of the second one is where we're actually going to be creating some forms. So we're going to create two forms here. Um, there you go. And actually, let me go ahead and just put the attributes for what we want inside of it. So form, um, name, not name what is it called um method equals post and there you go and now i'm going to delete this action because we'll never be using it um well we will eventually probably but we don't need to so yep method equals post and they're going to look exactly the same in the first form we just want to i'm just going to put enter these so there we go now in the first one we want some inputs and we want five inputs so I'm going to write some emit code again just to generate it because I get really tired of typing HTML code just because it's kind of boring. But yeah. Uh, also, I just want to show you this. I just generated an, or I made um, an entire script just to write what we're about to write right now. So like, watch this. So if we just, um, uh, what can I do with this? I'll just, I'll just, new file. Watch this. Shift P. Syntax html and now if we just paste this and push tab boom you get absolutely everything i'll put this in the description and you're gonna have to modify it a little bit but for the most part it's the exact same code so yeah i'll put that in the description so you can play with it um and so you can follow along if you don't want to type emit code or if you don't want to type regular html code uh if you do though just keep following along with me so yeah so inside of here we've got our uh, form i'm going to do a label um well, I want an input, and I'm going to want uh, five inputs because there's a username, a password, a retype password, an email, and a button. 
So yeah, so inputs, and um, I also want a label, L-A-B-E-L, -E and an input, and I want the input to be inside of a paragraph. So, P, then input, and I'm just going to surround these with uh, parentheses to surround something. I think it's Control Shift W. Oh, no, that closes the program. Oops, um, Sublime. Good thing Sublime keeps everything in memory. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, all right, done. Control Alt Up. No, we'll just do Control Shift G, and I just want to surround it in P's. Boom. Okay. So there we go. Oh wait, actually, that was that was stupid. I wanted to surround it in parentheses, but whatever. Yeah. I don't remember how to wrap um, with Sublime, so we'll just do parentheses. And um, oops. Whatever. I'll just put. I'm just being too lazy. I swear. Parenthesis. End. End line. Parenthesis. There we go. Okay. And now I'm gonna move this times five out here. And there we go. Label P. And I think this should work. Okay. It does seem to work, which is good. I might have spelled label wrong also. That's, oh, able. Able, label, and Mabel. There we go. Tab, uh, label, still spelled wrong. It's B-E-L. There we go. Tab, okay, perfect. Now, I also forgot one thing. I forgot to give, it, give us a name attribute, so name equals quotes. And you'll see why I wanted to do a name attribute so bad in a second. Because this four and this name need to be the exact same thing. So if I just control click here, I can literally just name them so quick. So the first one, since this is our register form, uh, we need it to be R underscore, um, what is it called? This is going to be our username field, so R underscore username, yeah, username. Next one is going to be password, and no, next one's going to be um, email. So R underscore, ah, uh, underscore email. Next one is going to be um, password, so R underscore password. Next one is going to be password two. And the reason, like, I didn't want to retype this entire, all the names, so I'm just going to not. So, R underscore password 2. I could put retype underscore password, but that's just a lot more. Okay, f last one. Um, we don't even need a label for this. I don't even know why I put that. So, yeah. Boom. Get out of here, man. And now name is register. And there you go. That is pretty much all the first HTML for this. I will be doing a little bit more um, towards the end of the tutorial, but that's towards the end of the tutorial, so you won't see it now, which is just do the exact same thing that we did here. It's just, um, uh, we just do, come on, what was it? It was inside of label, so it was Oh, wait, these labels are supposed to go inside the paragraph, I think. I guess we'll find out. Um, we go P, and then inside there, we had a label plus an input with an attribute of name equals uh, nothing. And we surround that with these, and we're making three inputs. So times three, and the three inputs are username, password. And, um, what was the other one? So username, password, and, um, and button. So, let's see, four, and then we're just going to call this username. We don't need to put login or anything. I mean, we could, but no. This one is going to be a uh, password. So, password. And the last one is going to be, um, just, what's it called? Button. So we don't even need the label again. So let's just delete that. Okay, so register. No, this is going to be called login. And now let's just take a look at. Well, actually, I want to put some stuff in the labels before we look at the HTML. So label. This one is just going to be username. And what label does is it's just going to be you know right outside of the the form inputs. So we don't have to just put blank text. 
Uh, let me move this to inside the peas. There we go. Uh, just a second, I'm gonna move these all inside the peas. Oh, Control Alt Shift P. Okay, so I just put all these inside the P because it's much easier. Um, just to look at, I guess, maybe, I don't know. I just like it better that way, and because I think they have to be in the P. So, we're just gonna do label, and, um, inside this label tag, we just wanna put, um, email, colon. Now, inside this label tag, we wanna put password, colon. Now we wanna put, um, retype, retype, password, colon. And then inside here, we just want the exact same thing. Pass no email a username. Username. Uh, we could log in with our email, but I prefer logging into a website with a password. Um, it's really your preference. Register. Colon. And now, let's save that. And go into here, and we'll go into our uh, registration page. So let me just refresh. And registration.php. Uh oh. Do it happened here? It should all be in the table. Did I not? What did I do? How do I not have a table? Just a second. I am a nub once again because you need to put these forms inside of table data. So, yeah, table data, table data, whatever you want to say it. So, uh, yeah, you just put this in uh, TDs. So, slash TD. And. Same thing for this one, if I just, uh, control shift G, no, not control shift F, control shift G, control shift G, oh no, um, CD, there you go, boom, just format that, so it's all nice and good, save it, and now, we should not get that dummy error, because I am a dummy, and there we go, perfect, which, oh, forgot to change it to a button, but, uh, otherwise, pretty much perfect, I would say so. Uh, I can show you how to put those elements to the right if you want. That's probably what I'm gonna do. So, no, not name is sublime. Name is, uh, name is, oh, let me just leave that back to what it was. Type equals register. And then type, no, type, what am I doing? Submit. And then type equals submit. Save it. And boom, we get exactly what we want, how we want it. If you want these elements aligned right here, I can show you how to do that right now with the power of a little poopy thing called CSS, which I absolutely hate, um, and a lot of web developers hate it, but uh, it looks it makes things look nice. So go into your header, and this is going to be useful a few times in our website, and inside our head, I just want you to learn a new tag called style, boom, and we're just going to zoom out a bunch, and style is where you type your CSS, so we're just going to do... I'm not even going to bother really to explain this much. I may make a CS tutorial in the future. But dot write means everything that uses this class called write is going to have this attribute. We're going to put float colon write. And what this means is anything with this float write is going to be all the way moved to the right of its parent. So this is a this input is a child of form and a child of this table. So it's going to take it and it's going to throw it into the right, um, and it won't be so wonky. So, now that we have that, we just need to go into everything with an input, and I probably should have done this with Sublime, I mean, not Sublime, um, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I was gonna say. I probably should have done this with Emmet when I was creating this at first, but whatever. So, just go ahead and, I'm just gonna do the whole multi-cursor thing, and I'm gonna do it down here, too. So, let's see, where is it? Input type equals text name equals password, then right here, boom, boom. And now we're just going to do um, class equals right. And because we have that dot right, class is going to mean everything with a dot right. If we save that, it should uh, do absolutely nothing. Did it apply to that view page source? Um, yeah, it did. Okay, let's just see. Oh, I didn't save the header, maybe. Save that. And now I'll try it. Boom. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So now everything is floating to the right, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. 
Okay, so that is going to conclude today's tutorial. We're not going to be learning the PHP for it. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow in the next episode, or maybe tomorrow. I don't know when I'm going to upload these things. Anyway, if you absolutely hated the tutorial, slap a dislike on it. Tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong. If you loved it, then go ahead and leave a like, comment, and follow me on Twitter, and subscribe for more awesome content. Till next time, y'all see you scrubs later.